Hey everyone, welcome back. In the Cypress tutorial, I'm going to discuss about another action method, which is trigger. So what exactly trigger method will do is it will trigger an event on the DOM element. What exactly will be the event? For example, mouse event you want to trigger, you want to trigger a change event. So for example, if we go to mouse event, right? I want to trigger a mouse over. I want to trigger mouse down, mouse up. Okay. All of those events, mouse events can be triggered using the trigger method then if we talk about change event right so for example if we want to interact with the sliders okay there is a slider i can use the trigger method as well i can do drag and drop using the trigger method now after doing a lot of experimentation with different applications now this trigger method might not work in all type of applications now the underlying technology in your application will define whether trigger method is going to work or not so try with the trigger method. For example, I want to do mouse over. If mouse over works in your application using the trigger method, well and good. If it doesn't, there are multiple workarounds as well to handle that particular situation. And I'll cover all of those. Okay. So let's cover about mouse over in this particular video. Okay. And then I'll cover uh, drag and drop and slider in the next video. So let's quickly go ahead. And uh, what I'll do is I'll simply go and let's copy some of the existing code to have this one so let me copy this drop down and i'll say so i'll say mouse over and mouse over will try with the trigger and if it doesn't work then we'll go ahead and find other solutions okay so i'll say mouse over dot cy dot js okay so here let me remove everything and on this yatra.com we'll try to do mouse over Okay, so I have saved this. Let me go to the app and we'll try to execute. So mouse over file is available here. Let me see that yatra.com gets open successfully and then we'll start from. There. Okay, so yes, uh, the website is open. Now on this particular website, if you see, it, there are multiple options here. Okay, there, so there is issue there. Okay, so if I say, for example, I go to this more button here, you will see this particular menu appears. All right. So now if I until I go ahead and if I want to click on some of the link here, I have to mouse over and then click right now in Cypress, I can mouse over and click or I can force click on any of these options without mouse over. OK, so there are multiple ways and I'll cover all of those. If say, for example, I want to interact with any of the elements that are within mouse over. OK, so let's quickly go back here in the script and let me change this execution to Chrome. OK, so I'll close it and let's start execution in Chrome. OK, so now I want to basically find the web element, right? So in order to use trigger method, what you have to do if we go to the documentation, clearly it will give you how you are going to use a particular method, right? So we'll simply cy dot get the locator of the web element on which you want to mouse over and then you say dot trigger and the action OK or the event, which event you want to trigger on that particular web element okay so we'll go here and we'll just within cypress i'll simply go ahead and locate this particular more button you'll see i got the tick uh, got the locator already i'll simply copy it and then go to the code and let's quickly paste that here and then we'll say dot trigger right and we'll pass what exactly we want to trigger and I'll simply say mouse. OK, and you'll see all these events, right? So mouse down, enter, leave, move. All of these are supported. So I want to do mouse over. If I want to do any other, simply select the event that you want to trigger. So I'll say mouse over and that's pretty much it. OK, so if I go ahead and save it, let's see if it works or not. OK, so it did execute, right? And there are no errors. OK, it did. If I go to that particular element where uh, or statement where the mouse over happened, you will see that it got highlighted here, but no menu appeared here. OK, so in this particular case for this particular website, it is not working. So what should we do? Is there any other option? OK, if say for example, I have to click or I have to click on some of the menu here. What will I do? So if trigger doesn't work, there is another option as well. So I'll comment this out. OK, and I'll say there is another method which is invoke. All right. So if we simply say cy dot get. OK, so we get the element and instead of trigger, I simply go ahead and say invoke. OK, so you'll see invoke and invoke is a method that will accept the 
actions uh, basically if we go and see the detail so invoke is let me go here and type invoke so you will see that invoke invoke is a function which can be used on a previously yielded subject right so previously yielded subject is basically so this is the locator and i can say invoke method invoke and then we can use it for example i can say invoke function name invoke options so i can say cy dot get input and then invoke whatever invoke show so invoke show what exactly this show will do is it will invoke the jquery show function okay so with invoke i can use the jquery show function to show the menu right so if trigger doesn't work on a particular website i'll simply say invoke and then i'll say show okay so in this particular case if i use invoke and then save and run again let's see what happens okay so here it still didn't work all right and i'll explain you why exactly it didn't work and i wanted to show you that even though script passed but then invoke still didn't work and what is the exact reason why it didn't work so basically you have to make sure whenever you are using invoke okay you have to make sure one important thing so i'll simply go ahead and open yatra.com here and let's inspect this particular web element so i'll right click on this more button and inspect and if you see here we are you we are using this class more hyphen arr okay and then using invoke so invoke function if you see here let me bring it so this is what the span is right which we are using okay which has this but then if you see the actual items that come below here are the part of the this particular div right so whenever you're using invoke okay or jquery method show then you have to make sure that you are using the immediate parent okay so for these elements for these list elements that are below this particular more what is the immediate parent basically if you see the immediate if i am saying okay show this whole list the immediate parent is not this one right so what i am using here is this right so there is no child below this below this span class okay so if i have to use or show the child elements show the child elements that are below that then i have to use this div so that it gets all the child elements it shows all the child element if i use this span or the class of this span there are no child elements below it right so in this particular case it is not going to work so we have to make sure that we use this class okay which has all these list items and you have to make sure always when you are using invoke if it doesn't work make sure that you are using the immediate parent which has all those child element right so here you will see that there is a div which contains an ordered list and then all the list so we'll use that div okay and not this one. all right so i can say okay more options so i'll simply change this here instead of because this is the class right so i'm using another class so i'll say dot more option and then invoke show on that particular parent element okay so now if i save and run this this should work perfectly fine you'll see that more options appeared okay now i am showing all those failures because you might come across these failures and it is very important to understand why the failure is happening and how you are going to handle it right so you'll see now this whole menu appears and now i can click on any of the element that i want to so for example i want to click on trains okay so i can simply go ahead and get the locator for this okay and then simply copy it and in the script i can say dot click because now this menu is appearing so i can simply get the locator and click on it so i'll have saved it will open the menu and it should click on trains you will see book train tickets appeared now all right in the left hand side you will see book train tickets appear so this is how you are going to do mouse over okay and then click on any of the web element now if you are using invoke now trigger might not necessarily work in all the cases so if it doesn't you have to use invoke and if you're using invoke make sure you use the correct locator all right correct locator means you are using the parent locator of the web element that you want you want to see right here if i'm using this class this doesn't have any child what what it will show it will show whatever the child elements are there below this right if i say for example use this class as well it should still work all right so if i say let's try this one okay because this is the list which has this span as well as all these elements so it should still work if i'm using invoke let me copy and try that i haven't tried with that but let's try i'll save it 
and let's see what happened. Okay, so it didn't work, right? So you'll see that this case, it didn't work because this is not the immediate parent, right? So this is basically, this is the child, okay? This, there is no element as such below here. So this is not immediate parent of it. So these list items are not immediate parents. Make sure that you are using the immediate parent, which contains that particular, those particular elements to show. So only more option is going to work in this particular, all right? Now, if there are failures, the option you should be trying is giving different options there, right? So you are sure that yes, which option is going to particularly work in that particular case. And this is for sure going to work when you have a list of items below that you want to show, you use the parent class, okay, uh, or parent locator, and that should basically invoke the child elements below it, okay? So that's about the mouse over. Now, another important thing here is, say for example, I don't want to do mouse over but still want to click right so in cypress you can still do that particular click okay so what simply you have to do is if say for example i do not want to want to do mouse over okay and that is where it's very very flexible tool right so i can simply get the web element locator and when i'm clicking i can say force click okay so i can simply pass the argument okay and i'll say force true and this should basically click or force click on this particular web element okay on or or on the trains menu even if it doesn't mouse over or shows it in the background it should click on it so let's quickly save and run you'll see that you'll see that book train tickets is appear appearing now right so even though we didn't mouse over and clicked on anything that is where these mouse over or trigger or all of these methods are not uh, very reliable in each and every scenario because in the background you can do a lot of stuff within Cypress that can that you can basically use to control your application. Okay, so this is basically all about this particular video. I'll see you in the next lecture. Thank you.